If you've ever cracked open a can of diet soda, chewed on sugar-free gum, or eaten a light snack cake, you've probably come across a not-so-famous but widely used ingredient called acesulfame potassium, or ACE-K for short. You've likely seen it listed on the nutrition label without giving it a second thought. But what is it exactly? Why is it added to so many food and drink products? And how safe is it to consume on a regular basis? Today, we're lifting the cover off one of the most essential and often overlooked inventions in daily life. Stick around as we explore how acesulfame potassium ends up in your snacks and sodas right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the basics. Acesulfame potassium, often called ACE-K, is an artificial sweetener that was discovered by accident in the late 1960s during research into new chemical compounds. Like many synthetic ingredients, its origins trace back to a laboratory, but today it can be found in countless households around the world. ACE-K is about 200 times sweeter than sugar, so only a tiny amount is needed to achieve the desired sweetness. It's also heat-stable and shelf-stable, which makes it ideal for use in both beverages and baked goods. One of the reasons ACE-K is so common is its versatility. It doesn't break down when exposed to high heat, which means it can be used in baking and cooking without losing its sweetness. That's a big advantage over some other artificial sweeteners that become bitter or degrade under heat. ACE-K also blends well with other sweeteners, especially aspartame and sucralose. When used together, these ingredients help balance out each other's aftertastes and create a flavor that more closely mimics real sugar. You'll most often find acesulfame potassium in soft drinks, especially zero-calorie or diet versions of popular sodas. Brands use it to keep the sweetness high while keeping the calorie count low. It also shows up in chewing gum, protein shakes, flavored waters, sugar-free candies, and low-calorie baked goods like snack bars, puddings, and cakes. Even some toothpaste and mouthwashes include it for a sweet taste without sugar that could contribute to cavities. So why do food companies love it? The short answer is, it helps them meet the demand for low-calorie, sugar-free options. Consumers today are more health-conscious than ever. Whether they're watching their weight, managing diabetes, or simply trying to cut back on sugar, many people are looking for sweet alternatives that don't come with the same health trade-offs. Acesulfame potassium offers just that, intense sweetness without calories, blood sugar spikes, or tooth decay. From a manufacturing standpoint, ACE-K is a win. It's cheap to produce, only requires a small quantity per serving, and doesn't need refrigeration or special storage. It also has a long shelf life, which makes it ideal for mass-produced packaged goods. Plus, because it's not metabolized by the body, meaning we don't digest or absorb it, it passes through us without contributing any energy or calories. For many people, especially those with diabetes or metabolic concerns, that's a major plus. That brings us to the most frequently asked question. Is acesulfame potassium safe? The short answer is yes, when consumed in moderation. It has been approved for use by major health and food safety authorities around the world, including the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, the European Food Safety Authority, FSA, and the World Health Organization. These organizations have reviewed dozens of studies on ACE-K's safety and determined that it poses no health risk when consumed within recommended limits. The FDA has set the acceptable daily intake of ACE-K at 15 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. For the average adult, that means you'd have to drink dozens of diet sodas or eat an extreme amount of processed snacks in a single day to even come close to hitting that threshold. For most people, occasional or even regular consumption, if balanced with other foods, doesn't come close to unsafe levels. Still, 
Some people remain cautious, and that's okay. While the bulk of current research supports the safety of ACE-K, some scientists continue to study its long-term effects, particularly in relation to gut health and metabolic function. There's no conclusive evidence that it causes harm in humans, but research is ongoing, as it should be. After all, the foods and ingredients we consume every day deserve close, careful scrutiny. Interestingly, AC-sulfame potassium has also popped up in some unexpected places, like rivers and wastewater. Because it isn't broken down by our bodies or by sewage treatment plants, traces of ACE-K have been found in the environment. This doesn't pose an immediate danger to human health but it does raise questions about how artificial additives behave once they leave our systems and enter natural ecosystems. It's a reminder that our food choices can have ripple effects far beyond the dinner table. When it comes to taste, Ace-K does a good job of imitating sugar's sweetness, especially when used in small amounts. However, on its own and in high concentrations, it can have a slightly bitter or metallic aftertaste. That's why you rarely see it used solo. In most commercial products, it's part of a sweetener blend designed to mask unpleasant flavors and create a smoother, more sugar-like profile. When combined with other ingredients, Ace-K helps balance the overall taste experience. Now let's talk about how AC sulfame potassium compares with other sweeteners on the market. Aspartame is also very sweet but isn't heat stable, making it less useful for baking. Sucralose, often known as Splenda, is heat stable and calorie free, but more expensive. Stevia, a plant derived sweetener, has gained popularity for being natural, but it has a licorice like aftertaste that not everyone likes. Ace K offers a middle ground. It's stable, effective, inexpensive, and works well with others. So, what should you take away from all this? Acesulfame potassium is one of the many tools food scientists use to help create sweet-tasting, lower-calorie products that meet modern dietary needs. It's not perfect, but it serves a purpose, and for many people trying to reduce their sugar intake, it's a helpful alternative. Like any food additive, the key is moderation. If you're consuming a varied, balanced diet and not relying heavily on processed snacks and drinks, ACE-K is unlikely to cause harm. Of course, it's still a good idea to stay informed and to read food labels with intention. Understanding what goes into your food, from sweeteners to preservatives, helps you make smarter, more conscious choices. And now that you know what ACE-K is, what it does, and how it fits into modern nutrition, you've got one more piece of knowledge in your toolkit. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.